Welcome back to Politicking. I'm talking with Denise D'Souza, best-selling author, documentary maker, and his new book is The Big Lie, Exposing the Nazi Roots of the American Left. We just left uh, on the last statements you made was about Trump's nationalism. One of the big concepts of Nazism was nationalism. Deutschland über alles. Germany is better than other countries. Aryan is b better. That's the opposite of the left in America. Well, it is true that nationalism was one of the features, as you say, of Nazism and of fascism generally. But just remember that nationalism is much broader than that. I come from India. Gandhi was a nationalist. Nelson Mandela was a ferocious nationalist who was a very attached to South Africa. Uh, um, Fidel Castro was a nationalist. Che Guevara was a Most of the anti-colonial leaders were nationalists. Stalin was a nationalist who celebrated what he called mother the Russia. So if nationalism equals fascism, all these people would be fascists, which they clearly weren't. So you can be a nationalist on the left and a nationalist on the right. Absolutely. And I don't think it's nationalism that's what makes the left today fascist. What makes the left fascist is that when I go out to speak on the campus, I will see uh, masked protesters wearing black outfits, carrying weapons, who drive dissenting conservative speakers off the campus. These are people who are ready to use intimidation and force to prevent a point of view from being aired that is never aired on the campus. And now they call themselves anti-fascist, Larry, but to me, they resemble Mussolini's black shirts or Hitler's brown shirts. They look like them, they talk like them, they act like them. And so, therefore, I conclude that these people, in the name of anti-fascism, are actually using fascist tactics. But they don't win out. We have a vibrant left and a vibrant right in America, and you're not going to call Chuck Schumer a fascist. No, but I think that the I think that the ideology and the economic policy of fascism has always been on the left. Let's remember that Hitler was a national socialist. He changed the name of the German Workers' Party to the National Socialist German Workers' Party. Mussolini was a Marxist and a lifelong socialist. So this whole concept that fascism somehow comes from the right is very misleading. Fascism is the ideology of the centralized state. You're saying Mussolini was a left-winger? I'm saying not, not only was Mussolini a left-winger, but Mussolini considered himself a left-winger. Even the people who criticized Mussolini called him a left-winger. When Mussolini did his march on Rome in 1922, Lenin sent him a letter, a telegram of congratulations. Why? Because Lenin understood that Mussolini was a fellow revolutionary of the left. But wasn't Hitler and Mussolini violent opponents of communism? Yes, they were, but let's remember that sometimes ideologies that are quite similar get into very bitter fights. Remember, Larry, the Catholics and the Protestants fought bitterly, even though they are both within the house of Christendom. The Shia and the Sunni will go and fight bitter battles, even though they're both within the house of Islam. So sometimes you can be on the same side of the aisle, but fight over power or minor doctrinal differences. Nevertheless, the fact that, that, that Nazism and fascism and, and socialism went to war does not mean that they don't have a lot in common. Where do you think it's all going, Dinesh? Well, I would like to see, you know, I, my last chapter is called Denazification. And what I mean is that I long for the kind of healthy democratic politics in which people don't regard each other as enemies. They don't have to carry weapons. They have arguments, so they don't have to come to blows. Uh, I, I, I actually yearn for the kind of America in which Donald Trump is actually not even necessary. Dinesh, always good talking with you. My Thank pleasure. you so much. Dinesh D'Souza, the book is The Big Lie, Exposing the Nazi Roots of the American Left. It's out now and available everywhere, including for downloads.